So my first flip was a great learning experience. Basically everything that could go wrong did go wrong. I bought a property. This was while I was getting my license. I wasn't yet licensed. I bought the property, renovated it. And in the meantime, I had gotten my license, but I had another agent who listed it for me and we weren't getting any activity on the house at all. And it was really cute. It was in a great neighborhood. So I was like, I'm gonna do an open house. I'm gonna bring a buyer, which I did. I did an open house, I brought a buyer, I had a buyer secured, they made an offer on the property, we went under contract, everything was great until it wasn't. The septic failed miserably. And not only that, but it was a new experience. So I didn't know that I should have looked into the township regulations and made sure that we could put the same kind of system in. We had to completely dig up the whole yard. There kept being problem after problem after problem. Finally, the buyers walked. We ended up getting a new septic system in. It was extremely costly, but we did it and everything worked out in the end. We sold it. The people living there are super happy, but we didn't make any money at all on this one because of all of the problems that we saw. So I learned that you have to really know the area that you're buying in really well and understand all the potential pitfalls and leave a little cushion room for things that go wrong because inevi inevitably things always go wrong. Well, my first transaction that I was completely by myself doing the work on was really interesting and humbling because I was helping somebody buy a property out of state and I was working co oping with another agent who has so many years of experience and just a, a mega agent, does a ton of business. I hadn't learned yet all of the things that you should and should not ask for on a home inspection, um, a buyer's reply to inspection. So when I sent over the long list of items, within about an hour, I got a termination of the contract sent back to me from the agent. They were like, it, that's it. There was no message, nothing. And I was like, oh no. So I, I didn't get upset or angry. I was really worried. I just called the agents and I was like, listen, I got the termination. I just have to be honest with you and tell you that this is my first transaction. So can you explain to me why you did this and what I did wrong? And maybe there's a way that we can fix it. Fortunately, these are agents that are really nice people. And they once they understood that I was brand new and I didn't mean to ask for way too many things, they were super helpful and we ended up going through the whole process and the buyers got the house and it all worked out great. But it just is a reminder that as an experienced agent now, when I know I'm working with somebody that's brand new, I give them a lot of leeway and try to be, um, you know, I I'm not going to tell them how to get the best deal from my client, but I do try to give them some guidance on how to make the transaction go along smoothly. So this has definitely um, influenced the way that I help buyers and sellers and guide them through the process, especially with home inspections, because you get a report that is like 25 pages thick and there's every potential issue the house has ever had, ever will have is listed there. So it's important just to focus on the main safety hazards and things that are really, really um, could p potentially be a problem and focus on that. And I remember when I was new and I didn't know that and how that affected the transaction and could have potentially led to my buyers not even getting the house. I remember that and I make sure to explain that to my sellers, what they can expect and to my buyers on what they can expect and the things that we really wanna focus on.